According to the World Health Organization, Noma is a rapidly progressing form of gingivitis that destroys the soft tissues and bones of the mouth. It starts as a gum lesion that leads to the death of the cells in the mouth tissue. Often referred to as the face of poverty, this disease affects children from 2 to 6 years who are suffering from malnutrition, living in extreme poverty and have a weakened immune system. If undetected and untreated, Noma is fatal in 90% of cases. Early detection of the disease can stop its progression through basic hygiene practices or antibiotics. On November 19, 2019, Nigeria marked her third National Noma Day with a commitment to eliminate the disease by 2030. To increase access to quality treatment for children, NANI, a non-governmental organization, is working with the Ministry of Health to construct an 80-bed treatment center within the grounds of the National Hospital in Abuja. When finished in a few months, the new NOMA center will be a cutting-edge institution ready to welcome patients. The purpose of gathering here today is to say welcome to Health Action NOMA, now known as the Nigeria AIDS NOMA Initiative under whose auspices we are laying the foundation stone of the second NOMA treatment center in Nigeria, situated within the National Hospital Abuja. This place is central for ease of access to Nigerian NOMA patients referred from any part of our country. It also has the human resources, I have said you might need here dental surgeons, you need maxillofacial surgeons, you need plastic surgeons, and you have all the specialists and specialties that you require to support this initiative. It will hopefully give more visibility to this disease that many of you do not know. The children who are treated here, they have to be here for several months, sometimes years, because it takes a long time between the surgeries for the kids to recover and so that it's not just in hospital, it's also a children's home for the time when they are here, plus the relatives. Then in the end it will be like capacity for 80 children and for the doctors of course, there are spaces for um, where the doctors can sleep in the first floor so they don't need to go to a hotel or something, it's all inside. There's a courtyard where the main courtyard where the children are playing so that they can feel like home. The basic treatment will be given will be to patients with the normal disease and mainly here will be majorly a surgical center that will do facial reconstructions for these patients that come down with the Noma disease. The services are going to be given to the patients free of charge. We have block A, block B, block C and D. In block A here this is where the patient will come. This is where they will see doctors. In this ground floor we have both uh, two operating theaters in this ground floor block A. Upstairs we have residence. In block B we have the ward, we have the ICU where they can be seen into and then the same block B we have the free eating place. In block C we have the guest hostels, in block D we have the boys hostel and the parents hostel. Tapuja is a, is a very central place and secondly being within a hospital they will be able to get additional manpower you know from our own manpower you know where also uh, several diagnostic facilities we already have in the hospital as a super specialist hospital you know that so you know they also they were impressed by what they saw and by the staff strength and facilities they saw and uh, the uh, another advantage is that being in central location it could easily be assessed from any part of the country and from any part of the world. Noma is actually being prevalent, like I said, in Nigeria, especially in the northeastern and northwestern parts of Nigeria, because Noma is also known as the face of poverty. 
it's all now increasing because of the increased poverty in the land poverty that has been complicated by the terrorism now in Nigeria. Since we joined the Noma Regional Control Program in 2016, there has been an accelerated, you know, work in Noma because we now have sponsors from uh, Hikfax and Tree, the WHO. We are concentrating on states that have high body. The Noma Treatment Center that's being built in Abuja is going to be a fantastic opportunity for families and children who have NOMA to get treatment in a quality assured environment with medical professionals who will make sure that they receive the adequate care that they have. To date, NOMA has been neglected in Nigeria and to have such a state-of-the-art facility within the grounds of the National Hospital will really highlight the plight of families who have children that have NOMA and it will provide them with a conducive environment to get the right treatment that they need. We hope that this will be a start against the disease. We've been in other countries before and it worked quite well. There are unfortunately a lot of children with the disease here and we are looking forward to start helping them. Timely recognition of normal disease averts deformity. In light of this, health workers and parents should bring their children to the center for treatment if they have suspected NOMA. The federal government should commit towards raising awareness on the disease and fully eliminating it from the country. Beyond awareness and treatment, it is critical that the root cause of NOMA is addressed, which is poverty. As long as most Nigerians in rural communities live below the poverty line, NOMA remains a threat. The new NOMA treatment center will soon provide treatment for NOMA survivors. NOMA is a neglected tropical disease and as such has not yet been recognized by the WHO. So by other advocates joining hands and highlighting the plight of children who have NOMA and ensuring that they come to Abuja for treatment will ensure that they get the care that they need so that NOMA no longer has to be a disease where families hide their children away but are able to get the recursive care that they need. Thank you to the people here who support us. Without them it wouldn't be possible to build a project like this. And of course the donors in Germany who give us the money and the trust that we are doing a good work here.